Anna had arrived in Switzerland at last and was standing in a small crowd at the airport waiting for her luggage. She had come back to visit her musical mentor, Master Chen, a Tai Chi master, whose sage guidance had opened the door to her artistry and her career. Ten years had passed so quickly, a life of airports, concert halls, hotels, performances. These were her bread and butter. And while she was an acclaimed bass virtuoso on stage, her private life was a song of hello, goodbye, we should get together. She yearned to see Master Chen, for career was not enough. She ached simply to be happy. Checking into the hotel, there would be time for a nap before the cab came to take her to her master's mountain home. She drew the curtains, leaned back on the bed, and closed her eyes. Soon, the phone rang loudly, and Anna sat up, and the front desk was calling. Where was she? Had she missed a rehearsal? They called to say that an older gentleman was waiting in the lobby. He had not left his name, but he might be Chinese. It was Master Chen. He had come into town to see her, what to do. She took a moment to freshen up and then rushed down to the lobby. Master Chen was delighted to see her, a childlike smile crinkling his ancient eyes, and he beamed, Oh, Anna, such a pleasure. You are lovely as ever. And Anna laughed. You are too kind. How are you? It is so good to see you again. And Master Chen lifted his gold-tipped cane. I use this now. Turned my ankle near the mountain stream we visited. Do you remember it? Of course I remember everything. What we did, what you said. She hugged him softly. You are the one who brought my music to life. Master Chen shrugged and tilted his head. I was only a guide. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you have time to explore today, Anna? He took her hand. A little time to walk with an old friend? Today I am yours, Master Chen, but when shall we work on my music? Master Chen waved his hand. No playing today, just looking around. Come, let us walk. Well, where are we going? a little surprise, and they both walked a few blocks and soon entered the National Fine Arts Museum, a favorite of Master Chen's.